Well, hello guys. I thought I'd do an update video. See where I am on the layout build. So, I lost track of the number. We'll call this layout update seven. But I've made a lot of progress since the last update. Um, I'm gonna give you a tour of what I've done so far, but right now I'm saying I'm 95% completed the bench work. So the only thing left I have to work on is finishing off the lift gate and working on the section of layout where it's gonna be an incline. I have it built, but not finalized. I haven't decided if I can get enough length of track to get an it to raise it an inch and a half versus an inch or two inches. But I'll find out once I start laying out the track on, on the bench work and see where it's going to start from a turnout. And there's a turnout at each end of the layout that I need to deal with. And I need a minimum of 50 inches for a 2% uh, grade up and down and I want to have an eight foot section of straight flat area which will be my uh, two crossovers and in and out and I will have that completely built and tested before I actually install it so I haven't got that quite finished but I'm gonna turn this camera off I'm gonna switch it around and we're gonna go for a tour so give me a minute or two guys and I'll be back Okay guys, let's go for a walk. So where I'm standing at the far left side of the layout, at the opposite end, and you're looking toward the, uh, where the, what I call the alcove is, um, where I'll eventually have a town scene. So you can see all the bench work in that area is complete. So we're gonna slowly come down here Now this area right here, this is where we're putting the turntable. So there's no structure in the middle of that space whatsoever. So it has no interference in where I cut the hole for the turntable. And up the end here, this is going to be the start of the grade. Right where my, you see my, micro, my uh, camera stand there is starting approximately there. So we'll see where we get to. If we can get enough uh, track length after the crossover, we'll try and increase the height of the incline to so get a bit more height on the flat section. But uh, so I, this is this ends all done. It's finished. Um, I painted this the um, the fascia, but that's that's not a permanent fascia. I'm gonna have another fascia on top of it eventually. But for now, that's gonna stay that way. But this end's all done. So I'm gonna come over this way here. This is where my computer right now. So this is the area where the turntable is in the other direction. So there's the, um, the other side of it. So that's all done. Um, it's finished. I had to add a couple of braces in the center section to help keep the plywood from flexing too much in this area here. Uh, the lift gate is down and yeah so you see up there that's the opposite that is the left side of the layout and the the lay the, the incline is going to start just a little bit left of my router and we'll go up from there i need 50 inches minimum for two percent grade to rise at one inch the only reason I'm doing an, an inch rise is so I can make the main line higher than the yard. So the train, you see the trains. That's basically what we're doing. So I see the trains. So we'll go down here at the end. And I did finish the, this end, this side of the, of the lift gate. The other side's not done, but this side is finished. That's got to sand a little bit there, but it works pretty good. And the next thing you know, I start wiring. 
and I drilled all the holes for the wiring. It's all done. So I still got to work on this end here. I still need a piece of plywood on top of here and drill in the uh, dowel pins. These, this end here won't be electrified, only this one side here, because the track, the wire is going to dead end here, and it'll dead end the other side. So I'll run a bus line. Maybe don't lose the camera too bad. I'll run a bus line all the way around the layout. Turn it around. So it'll run all the way around into this area here. I haven't decided on zones yet. That's another area. Right now, my plan is to do the main line as one zone, the yard another zone, and my staging yard be another zone. So that'd be three zones with a spare. So you can see where the, um, I'm going to turn it toward, toward the track plan. You can see those uh, marks, they're eight foot marks. That's where the slope's going to start and decline down to that where it's marked like a D or a zero. That's zero point. And over there, that is zero. So I don't have a lot of room. I need 50 inches. So I don't have a lot of space because I need that turnout. Now, we may be able to move one turnout down a bit, but the other one I can't because uh, of the curves. So that's where we are in this area. So, um, yeah, so I did, I did work on the staging yard a little bit. I'm going to come over to that area. So you can see there's a piece of plywood there. It's not installed yet, but that will be the track for the staging yard. And that'll give me uh, 12 feet of straight track for parking two complete trains. So uh, I'm quite impressed. It's, uh, it's coming along. A lot of work. But uh, you can see the peninsula now. That way. Those piece of plywood panels up there. There are... I'm using those to mount the control stuff. The tronics. The circuit breaker. That kind of stuff. I can actually mount them up, up here. And install the whole assembly in, into the where the control is going to go, which is down, they're going to go down here, underneath that bench right there. So hopefully next week I'm going to start digging through boxes and see what I have for uh, my track, turnouts, wiring, all that kind of stuff. And we'll just get plugging away. But I thought I'd share an update where I am. So um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with it so far. And um, until the next update, guys, I guess that's over and out for that. But let me just turn this camera off. I'll change, I'll reposition it. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, so that's where I am on the layout. Um, so I won't be long, start doing track. Next couple weeks. Now I had to get, I'll get them over here. This is a, the incline starter kit. I bought one because all I had in stock. So I ordered seven more. They should be here in a couple weeks. And uh, yeah. It's a 2% grade starter. And I'm going to use the uh, half inch pink foam to help with the in, with the, uh, the straight sections. But of course Home Depot is out of stock. They do more stock this week but I haven't checked. So maybe next week I'll take a run to Home Depot. I'll check online first and pick that up. And start going on that. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it. Um, that's um, it for now. A reminder, tomorrow night, um, Off Track Monday. Uh, it's be on Mike's channel uh, tomorrow because he's playing something special. Rumor is he wants to put a hole in the wall. So we'll see how he makes out with that. Get ready for explosions, all kind of stuff. Hole in the wall tomorrow. 
We'll see what he does. We don't know yet. It's a surprise. And uh, I want to thank all my subscribers uh, for watching my channel. And, you know, I just, we're just having fun. That's all it is. Uh, not any more than that. Just to have a good time. Learn from the community. And as Mike always says, uh, doesn't cost a dime. Hit that like button and subscribe. And hit the bell. And that way you see the notification when uh, I have a video showing up. But yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, 7 o'clock. Trackside Mike's channel. See what kind of trouble he's going to get into. We don't know yet. It'll be interesting. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe uh, nothing will go wrong tomorrow. It'll be a straightforward uh, chat. Or we could fail. <laughs> we don't know. I've had some computer issues I had to take out. I was having conflict with uh, cameras and that kind of stuff last week when I was live. So I limited that problem. So, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah. Well, guys, uh, this is Dundas Junction Model Railroad. Over and out. Catch you on the next, next live, next chat. We'll find you or you'll find us. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for stopping by.